Welcome to this ACES Center presentation for DHCP Server Setup. To begin, go to the Start menu. Select Manage Your Server. Select Add or Remove a Role. This is the Configure Your Server wizard. Check that you have completed all of the preliminary steps. If you have, click Next. Select DHCP Server from the list of server roles. Click Next. Make sure the summary is correct. If it is, click Next. After a brief wait, the New Scope Wizard will appear. This is the New Scope Wizard. Click Next. Enter an appropriate name and description for the scope. Click Next. Enter the IP address range. The start address is the first IP address that can be assigned to a DHCP client. The end address is the last IP address that can be assigned to a DHCP client. The length is the length in bits for the subnet mask and is usually 24. The subnet mask is to be assigned to all clients. Click Next. This is the Add Exclusions dialog box. Here you can enter the address range which is not to be assigned by the DHCP server. The start address is the first IP address to be excluded from the pool of available addresses and the end address is the last IP address to be excluded. Click Next. Enter the appropriate lease duration for the IP address. Click Next. This is the Configure DHCP Options dialog box. Select Yes to configure these options now and click Next. Enter the IP address of the default gateway or router. Click Next. Enter a default parent domain for any workstations that lease an IP address from this DHCP server. If the network is connected to a DNS, then enter this here as well. Click Next. If your network uses a Windows Internet Name Service server, then enter its IP address here. Click Next. Click Next to activate the scope. And click Finish. You have now set up your DHCP server.